back to my channel. A lot of times I'm really excited to tell you about something, but I, I don't, I'm just excited to try it, okay? <laughs> These are like super awesome sauces I've seen all over the interwebs for quite some time now. And now they're in my possession. Let's talk about these things. My friends over at Increase the Heat sent me three different sauces. I haven't read anything about these sauces. I haven't tried these sauces. I've just seen them and had genuine interest. So let's learn about these things together, shall we? All natural, engineered by hot sauce connoisseur, Chris, Chris Henson, River, oh, I guess that explains the damn spelling. Yeah. Okay, I get it. I see what you did there. <laughs> okay, I'm following. River of Blood's blend of sweet and acidic flavors will leave your taste buds tortured but begging for more. That's exactly how I like it. Each dab binds your soul in the sauce's shackles of heat. It's flavor hypnotizing you until you put it on everything that you eat. Let's talk about these ingredients. Are you ready? I don't know if I am. The first ingredient is pickled Thai chilies. Thai chilies, salt, apple cider vinegar, pickled garlic. Oh, <gasps> okay. All right. Garlic, salt, apple cider vinegar, red bell pepper, blood orange, garlic, ghost pepper, salt, sugar, apple cider vinegar, xanthan gum. Really? Okay. Dude, uh, you get a ton of creativity points immediately. Immediately. The aroma is amazing. Look how thick this sauce is. This is nice thick, beefy. I'm excited. Oh, shit. holy crap. What a fun ride. That's an illegal all its own. I don't even know any other thing to say about it. The texture is unique. Like when you mix horseradish and ketchup together, it, it has the texture of the horseradish, but then it has like sweetness and then it has it doesn't burn quite the same. This is really cool. On a scale of one to 10, I give it a 13. Moving on. Ban Helsing. <laughs> Look at the label. Look at the sauce. This has my interest so peaked. Made in Nashville, Tennessee, every generation legend foretells of one hot sauce that will usher in a new era of balance between fruit, root, and heat. It will combine unique flavors such as banana, pineapple, garlic, and the radiant heat of the Carolina Reapers and jalapenos to bring man out from the shadows of bland food. This sauce will turn tacos, pizza, wings into instruments of divine pleasure. Ingredients are as follows. Banana, pineapple, yellow bell pepper, garlic, jalapeno, shallot, Apple cider vinegar, Carolina Reaper, coconut milk, lemon juice, brown sugar, salt, xanthan gum. All right, I, I can't, I can't take it. I can't take it anymore, I, I have to know. Stuff like this is right up my alley. I love thick, creamy sauces and I love weird, unique ingredients. I love it when people go out on a limb and try something new. Let's see how it is. Another incredibly thick one. No, there we go, there we go, there she is. There she is, look at that. Ooh, yes, oh my God. The texture, the flavor, the burn, this is incredible. You definitely taste the banana. The banana gives the sauce this really nice, thick, frothy texture. And then you have the banana flavor. There's the sweetness, this garlickiness. And here's the thing, here's the thing. I sometimes feel like if you're gonna make a sweet sauce, make a sweet sauce. If you're gonna make a salty sauce, make a salty sauce. But don't like try and mix the two because rarely does it work out well, but this works out well. This has this sweet fruitiness and then this like garlicky touch, but it's not like the flavors are not battling against each other. They're like merging perfectly together. This is like a baked potato sauce. Make baked potatoes and then just pour this all over. Damn, that's good. This is good. This is good. Last but not least, Guero Guapo. Just the label alone has me completely intrigued. I love everything about these sauces. They're really cool. They, like have this really awesome balance between weird and unique, but then like professional and impressive at the same time. Because sometimes weird and unique just goes way off the charts, right? But this one, I feel like this is a really cool balance of weird and not weird. 
Yeah, I, I'm, I'm down. Let's do this more. Ingredients are a lot. And shake it well. Okay. Look at this texture. This is insane. I'm completely here for this. No, <gasps> dropped it everywhere. Holy shit. That's amazing. That is amazing. That's creamy. That's like, that's like, mm, that's so good. It's like a, a white Alabama style barbecue sauce, but it has this really nice warmth. This is like, fried chicken material. This is so good. We need more stuff like this in South Carolina, 100%. We need more stuff like this in the hot sauce world. The burn is beautiful. The texture is amazing. The flavor is incredible. Oh my God. Oh my God. This did not disappoint. I was so excited to try this. <gasps> this will not last long. Thank you for sending these to me. Please, please. If you like unique sauces that are not too far off the scale of crazy, wild, and weird, but just right there in that sweet spot, you need to go check these out. IncreaseTheHeat.com. Thank you so much.